Pet Trustee Sponsors, Let's Talk About Animals, hosted by Jewel. <laughs> okay, so today we have a very special guest with us, Maria Sansone from NBC News. She's a commentator there. And Ralphie. Oh, absolutely. My star pooch. Yes, well, I was going to say, this is the star. <laughs> it is the star. I mean, he, he's the one, he's the reason we're here. That's the reason we met, anyhow. Right, yeah. absolutely. It's wonderful. And uh, we're going to be hearing all about your wonderful things, that exciting things that are happening on your show. Yes. And in addition to that, she also writes for the Hamptons Magazine. That's we'll, right. We'll be talking about that in a few minutes, too. Sounds good. That's great. So Ralphie is looking very good for that uh, duck pate there. So. <laughs> but we're so I'm sure he'll be back. Where there's food, there's Ralphie. <laughs> yes, and Nicolette is like ready to have some of that pate, too. It she looks found like. a new friend today. Oh, yes. They're she just loves having Ralphie. a blast here at your house. It's fun. <laughs> it's great. That's what it's all about. That's what we're all about, Absolutely. too. Absolutely. Well, it's. I want. I'd like to back up a little bit and mm -hmm. talk about how you became such an animal lover, and also a little bit about dogs in the city. Yes. And how that whole thing evolved into Ralphie and a near mishap with Ralphie. We watch. I'm speaking of mishaps. <laughs> um, well, it's so funny because where I, I grew up in Erie, Pennsylvania, and I always wanted God, to have a dog, but uh, my parents just were not dog people. Mm -hmm. They just would not have it, no matter how much I, I begged and pleaded. So when I finally moved out on my own and I moved to New York City, I said, I'm getting a dog. And I convinced my boyfriend, now husband at the time, that we had to have a dog. Mm -hmm. So we got our first dog, Louie, and he was the apple of our eye. He was just like, he was like our child. We loved him so much. And what kind of dog was he? He was um, a Havanese Bichon mix. Okay. And um, was he a, a rescue too? No, what? he wasn't a rescue. Okay. This is when we were, we, we didn't know much about it. Okay. And that's part of the reason I got involved with rescues. Now mm -hmm. it's very hard, I think. It's very overwhelming to try to rescue a dog. So that's what I've been trying to do through my show is just make it easier for people when they're trying to, to rescue. But we got our first dog and um, Unfortunately, we only had him a couple of years, and he was hit by a car mm. on Valentine's Day. Oh. It was devastating. Were you with him when that happened? My husband was with him at the time, and that was in, in New York City, and it was really just, I mean, awful. And that's when you, when you really realize what these animals are to us. They're family. They are. And I found when you go through something like that, there's people who understand, mm -hmm. and those are the animal people. Right. People who <laughs> kind of think you might be a little bit crazy for, for being so devastated. But we ended up, then we got Ralphie, and we, uh, it definitely helps. It definitely helps heal a little bit. You know, they can never replace your other dog, but it definitely fills that void a little bit. Yes. And then he tried to... So now we're crazy with them. I'm like a worried, we're like the uh, the parents that don't let him do anything because we're so worried. But uh, he was in his harness and we were walking down the street in New York City. You know those busy streets, there's cars everywhere. And he was in a harness and everything and somehow he got spooked and dipped out of his harness and started taking off towards Into traffic. Second Avenue. Oh my gosh. And I thought, this cannot be happening. This can't be happening again. So I just dove. You know, I was started chasing him. No, Nicola. <laughs> so I started chasing him, and then it's a game. Like the more I chased him, the further he ran, and so I didn't know what else to do. I just dove on top of him, and I ripped my pants. I was bleeding, but I got him. And these dogs, I'll tell you, <laughs> they make me crazy. But it's because of Ralph that. Um, He's really changed my life. I, I'm writing now for Hamptons Magazine. I'm writing a doggy column. Um, I've always been in television, but now I'm shifting my focus, and a lot of what I do is driven by pets and dog adoptions, and I do a show, um, you know, the show I'm on currently is LX New York. Right. It's on 5 o'clock on NBC4. You can get it out here in the Hamptons Monday through Friday, and we do a little bit of everything. Mm -hmm. it's, it's a talk show. We have celebrity guests. We do fashion, beauty. I do a Broadway segment. But the real thing that, that excites me is what we do on Thursdays. Mm -hmm. And we have a segment called Maria's Pet Project. Right. And we try to bring awareness to all of the rescue groups in the New York area because there are 
90 to 100, which I don't think people realize. It's interesting because I'm going to uh, ask you about this because yeah. when you were trying to get Ralphie, you told me that you didn't even know how to find a rescue. I didn't. I really didn't. I knew of, you know, the, the usual suspects. Mm -hmm. I knew of the ASPCA. I had heard of the Humane Society. I knew of North Shore Animal League because they do so much with uh, publicity and everything like that. And so I made a few phone calls. I really wanted to adopt. I, I tried, and I felt I tried. Mm -hmm. And I asked if they had puppies or what kind of. The, and they just and that happens. You have to yes. be now. I know you have to be patient. And um, and that's that's all I knew of. Yes. I mean, I was kind of ignorant to it all. And that's what I don't want people to be now. Right. Um, I didn't realize that there are so many shelters. There's also people who foster dogs in their home. Mm -hmm. uh, so if you're looking for a specific breed, even a pure breed, they're out there. 26% of all rescue animals are pure pedigrees. So it's you can amazing. get a pet, I know, and they've already been housebroken. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's, that's good too. So what, what, the main goal of the show, yes, each week, so each week we bring on a different shelter or foster group from a different area. You know, one day it's from Queens, next next week it's someone from Greenwich, Connecticut, or a rescue in the city, or a rescue in New Jersey. But the idea is just to raise awareness about adoption and also to spotlight these shelters so that if people are ever considering it, they'll say, oh, there's one in my neighborhood. Mm -hmm. And then, of course, we bring in five or six dogs from the shelter, and they typically all get adopted. Isn't that amazing? With, and we're celebrating today. Yes, we with are celebrating. Champagne, because you are getting ready to have your 100th. Yes, we're getting ready to celebrate our 100th dog being adopted, and I expect that to happen pretty soon. Isn't it? We started doing this in February, mm -hmm. so it hasn't even been a year. Mm -hmm. And I expect to reach 100 dogs in the next month or two. That's wonderful. Um, so what I'd love to do with all of the, it might take a little planning to get this all together because people who've adopted are from all over the area, mm -hmm. all over the tri-state area. So I would love to get all of the um, adopted families yeah. there mm -hmm. with the dog that they adopted and get them out on the plaza uh -huh. and Rockefeller Plaza and so we can celebrate what we've done you know changed all, right. all these lives it's so are really we cool. all invited you're all invited I'm gonna have a regardless I'm having a big party to celebrate I, I would love to have like a yappy hour oh that's and great. raise some money um, I work with the Mayor's Alliance of New York City Animals okay and they have about 90 or so shelters that they work with and they've been great coordinating and kind of showing us the way and introducing us to all of the the shelters and fosters that are out there. So we're going to work with them and do something fabulous. <laughs> <laughs> it will be fabulous. It's, it's, I mean, it's a big celebration, and, and not only you know, it's, it's, it's those families you know that were touched and those animals that were saved, but hopefully each one of those shelters that's been on each week since February has gotten more attention. Mm -hmm. And someone like me, when they're looking, you know, to, to get a dog, won't say, "Well, I tried." You know, they'll they'll know that there's so much out there, uh, I, and that's the main goal. It is the main goal. It is the yeah. main goal, and also the you're awareness. Not a, you're not a bad person if you don't adopt a dog. You know, right. there, there's you know, not. a dog is a dog. They're all fabulous. And there wonderful. are cats. You know? Yeah, yeah. So, but dog people are very special. But, yeah, yeah. But so it's, it's just a great thing to think about for if, if you know someone who's thinking about getting a dog. Or, mm -hmm. Now I'm that person on the street and say. That's what's great about having a dog in New York. Everyone stops you and talks to you and say, what kind of dog is that? I say, it's a cockapoo. I get one of those. I say, well, you need to adopt. I can tell you 15 million places where you can go. Okay, here we go. I think it's going. Okay. <laughs> so let's say so <laughs> uh, Why don't you try it again? Okay. <laughs> Those are our spouses, by the way, offset. They don't yeah. make so much noise over there. <laughs> but uh, we'll share They're the champagne shy. with you. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> well, this is great. Oh, wonderful. It's so exciting. So, Especially because you really appreciate it. This is something. And that's how we met is through dogs and animals. Because I wrote an article about Jewel in Hampton's Magazine um, because of the wonderful things she does for animals. So it's always fun when. It was, it was absolutely great. In fact, we happen to have a copy right here. Of course. <laughs> and uh, it was like, um, it was really interesting because last night we were at Wolfers and um, we sat across 
from Joy Behar, who was at our table, at the head table at That's Wolfers, and it was I so funny. I hope you told her you were in the magazine. I did. I said, we were on page 148. <laughs> <laughs> and it was a beautiful article. Was she nice? It really was. She was lovely. Yeah. She really was lovely. She seems like she'd be really funny. Oh, oh. she was. She was. It was, a, it was a great table, and a, it was a wonderful mm -hmm. event. Mm -hmm. In fact, uh, Wolfers is going to be on the show, and they're going to be, um, hopefully, Joanne Wolf will be, will be coming, but John Nida, who is the uh, general manager of Wolfers. Mm -hmm. And that's the winery here. Right? Yes, but they have the most beautiful stables. And, you know, because Hamptons is horse country, right. it was just, it was a spectacular, spectacular show and clipping and whatever. But, um, and they have beautiful dogs there too. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but anyway, we're in here. Yeah, so Hamptons Magazine approached me after they saw what I was doing on NBC with the Maria's Pet Project and said, would you want to write a column for Hamptons Magazine? We have so many dog lovers in Hamptons. I said, absolutely. <laughs> and so this is the first time I've ever written a column. So that was a whole new experience and a lot of fun. But I got to meet amazing people who live here. And, Case in point, oh, right here. Absolutely. I and called you up on the phone, and that was now it. we're friends, and we're here at your house drinking champagne. So, <laughs> it's wonderful. It, it really wonderful. is. Talking about our favorite subject, which is animals. Which is animals. It really is. And here was the article that she wrote. Beautiful article. You don't have to zoom in on it. That's okay. But <laughs> it was fun. Oh, you bet. Absolutely. Cheers. Ah. To so your so, appearance in Hamptons Magazine and my appearance here in the Hamptons. Wonderful. <laughs> don't get out here nearly as much as I'd like to. Oh, well, I hope you come oh, to spend the weekend sometime. That would be love wonderful. To. We were hoping that this past weekend, but it just didn't work so, out. Yeah. We played second fiddle to your in-laws. <laughs> right. <laughs> Ralphie, that was the holy request I had, was that Ralphie had to stay if he came to visit. But Can't happen. <laughs> he used to come with us. Oh, he is But he's beautiful. loving it out here because there's so much room to run and... He's a city dog, so he's used to being on a leash. Tell us some of the things about the differences. Like, I know that you have a whole different lifestyle. I mean, here, when we, we want Nicolette to go out, we just go open the door and she goes out because it's right. a Princeton area. It's totally different. Yeah. I have to say, though, it is great to be a dog in New York City. Actually, Ralph and I did a whole segment on LX New York about how great it is to be a dog in New York. And we started... We woke up in a dog-friendly hotel, because mm -hmm. New York City really caters to dogs. Mm -hmm. Even though there's not great open space for them to run, it caters to them in different ways. Um, so we stayed in a dog-friendly hotel, and we woke up, and he got room service, to chef prepared, <laughs> like chicken and rice and, you know, all those things. Um, and then we went shopping at Bloomingdale's, which not a lot of people know, but you can bring your dog into Bloomingdale's. They're totally okay with that. And we went and walked up and down the street. We so now do you have any fair. matching outfits? <laughs> <laughs> not so much. But at the end of that day, we had our photo taken by a specialty um, photographer. Her name's Charity Demure. And she works with Jonathan Adler, uh, exclusively with Jonathan Adler. And she takes pictures of you and your favorite pair of shoes with your dog. I'll have to show you the picture. It's so funny. So it's just my shoes and my legs oh, really? in one of our favorite places, which is Central Park. So the focus is really the dog and then like your the shoes. shoes. But so that was just an example of a few things you can do in New York with your dog. You can bring them a lot of places. You can go to restaurants with them even and sit outside. So it's a toss-up. He does love coming out to the country, though. I mean, you can't replace running around. Right. But the best. Mm -hmm. um, but what's nice about New York is I think dogs get very socialized mm -hmm. because straight from the moment that they're six weeks or eight weeks and they're allowed to be out on the street mm -hmm. after they have their shots and whatnot, right? Um, actually, I think it's a little bit older. It's been a while since he was a baby, but I think when you know after they have their shots and they're allowed on the streets, they're Im immediately immersed into this world of big dogs, little dogs, kids you know, coming up to them on the streets, where a lot of dogs that live out, you know, in the country or, you know, burbs, they don't come in contact with as many And they dogs. need that. Dogs are pack animals, and yeah. they so desperately need to socialize, just like humans need to socialize. There's nothing like um, sniffing another dog. Right. <laughs> it's the greeting, I know. Oh, but he's a little daycare sometimes also, just for, just for fun, just to kind of screw around with other dogs. Uh -huh. So that's nice. It is nice. It yeah. really is. Yeah. Hi, yeah, they would like Would having a mission. So. I think it's okay if I give them a Yeah, why not? Okay. We're on Ralphie. vacation. How about Look at what Jules can spoil you with. Oh. How about some duck food? Ooh, <laughs> yum. <laughs> oh, 
Oh. Well, now, Ralphie's been in several se segments himself, Oh, hasn't my gosh. He? This is a star dog here. Jewel, it's so funny. So I'll um, walk around with him in New York, and...